Avisha for being first to post the answer in the comment box. Let's continue with today's video. Hello children. Welcome to Math Park. In our park, today we are going to learn about rational numbers. Before learning rational numbers, we have we'll, let us recap what type of numbers we have learned. We have learned natural numbers. Now here we can see there are four sketch pens. I take away two, two are left. I take away one, one is yet left. So one, these one, two, three, four, we can see in nature. That is why they are called natural numbers. So we can represent them on the number line. One, two, three, four, five, six. It goes on. Infinite natural numbers. Now this one also taken away, nothing left. So how do we represent nothing? So nothing is zero. So this is how we represent zero on the number line. And 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 onwards, these are called whole numbers. What happens when we go in a lift? We go in the basement. We see minus 1, minus 2. When we go to the cold countries or cold regions, the temperature is in negatives, minus 4, minus 40 degrees Celsius. So all those numbers which are less than 0 are negative numbers. We write them as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and so on. So all the whole numbers and their negatives, they are called natural numbers. Now here, 0 is neither positive nor negative. It is neither positive nor negative. Now we have seen that all integers are rational numbers. So what is a rational number? A number can be expressed in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is called a rational number. Now, 0 is a rational number because I can write 0 as 0 upon 1. Denominator cannot be 0. Minus 1 is a rational number because I can write minus 1 as minus 1 upon 1. So, all the integers can be expressed in the form of p by q. So, all the integers are rational numbers. Rational numbers can be either positive or negative. And we can represent the rational numbers on number line because infinite numbers lie between 1 and 2 as we can say I, I, I can eat half a chapati which will lie between 0 and 1 if I take 1 and half chapati it will lie between 1 and 2 so there are infinite rational numbers between two rational numbers which we are going to learn ahead now let us represent rational numbers on number line so here is a question children Represent 2 by 5, minus 3 by 5 and 9 by 5 on a number line. Now 2 by 5 is going to lie between 0 and 1 because 0 and 1 which is nothing but 5 upon 5. So I 0 and 1 is nothing but 5 upon 5. So each number here is going to be 1 by 5, 2 by 5. So that is how I can represent this number as 2 by 5 on the number line. What about minus 3 by 5? So minus 3 by 5 is going to lie between 0 and minus 1. Now denominator is 5. So here we need to make 5 equal parts between 0 and minus 1. Same as we did for, from between 0 and 1. So each number begins from here. It is minus 1 by 5, minus 2 by 5, minus 3 by 5. This is how we can represent minus 3 by 5 on the number line. What if it is an improper fraction? So 9 upon 5. So we first convert this into mixed fraction. So we divide 9 by 5. 5 ones are 5. So denominator is 4. So as we know, we represent this as QR by D. Q stands for quotient. So 9 by 5 is same as 1, 4 by 5. 4 is a remainder, 5 is a divisor. Now 1, 4 by 5 is going to lie between 1 and 2. So again 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this number is going to represent 2. So each number here is 1, 1 by 5, 1, 2 by 5, 1, 3 by 5, 1, 4 by 5. So this is going to represent 1, 4 by 5 or you can say 9 by 5 on the number line. Children, do practice similar type of questions from your textbook. Now, let us understand further more. 
we find as we have seen 1 and 2 I can find so many rational numbers as we have seen 5 rational numbers can be re represented between 1 and 2. Now let us understand how many rational numbers can be found out between 2 rational numbers. So here we have a question. Find rational numbers between 2 rational numbers. So as we know that 0 and 1 are rational numbers. So between 0 and 1 when we look on number line we cannot identify any natural number. So how can we write rational numbers between these two rational numbers? So let us first write this in the form of p by q. So 0 can be written as 0 upon 1. 1 can be written as 1 upon 1. Still I cannot find more rational numbers. So what do I do? I multiply this both numerator and denominator by 10. So it is easy you know multiplying by 10, 100 becomes easy. So if I multiply 0 and 1 numerator and denominator by 10 I get 0 by 10 which is same as 0. And 1 upon 1 I can get as 10 upon 10. So now I can find so many rational numbers between them like 1 upon 10, 2 upon 10, 3 upon 10, 4 upon 10, 5 upon 10. It goes on till 9 upon 10 will be the rational numbers between 0 and 1. If I have to still find more rational numbers, what I have to do is simply increase the denominator. Either you can multiply it by 2 numerator and denominator or you can simply multiply by 10 more. So you can get 0 upon 100 and 100 upon 100. So you'll get so many 99 almost rational numbers between these two. Now let us see a rational number minus 2 by 5 and 3 by 5. When I look at the numerators, integers minus 2 and 3, the integers which lie between them are just minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So if I have to find the rational numbers between these two numbers, I'll just get minus 1 by 5, 0 by 5, 1 by 5 and 2 by 5. What if I want to find more rational numbers? Say if I have to find 10 rational numbers. So then what do I do is I can simply multiply this by 10. So I get here minus 20 upon 50. Here I get 30 upon 50. Now I can find just looking at the numerators. What we have to do is minus 20 and 30 what all integers lie and denominator would be 50. So if I have want to find 10 rational numbers I can go either positive way. Or I can go towards negative. So it's better to write positive. So I can have 1 upon 50, 2 upon 50, 3 upon 50, 4 upon 50, 5 upon 50, 6 upon 50, 7 upon 50, 8 upon 50, 9 upon 50 and so on it continues. Number of rational numbers that you have to find out. Okay. Now let us see here. Now denominators are different. In the previous question both denominators were 5. So it was easy to multiply to have an equivalent fractions or equivalent rational numbers. Now here when the denominator is different what we need to do is we need to find the LCM of denominator. When two numbers are prime we know that the product is the LCM. So the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. So we first convert these rational numbers into equivalent rational numbers with denominator 6. So if I have to have a denominator 6 here, I have to multiply 2 by 3. So 1 also should be multiplied by 3. So I get 1 by 2 is same as 3 by 6. If I should have a denominator 6 over here, I will have to multiply 3 by 2. So numerator also I will have to multiply by 2. So 2 twos are 4. So now when I have to find the rational numbers between 3 by 6 and 4 by 6 again, I cannot get a single number between 3 and 4 if I look on the number line. So again now I have to increase the denominator. To increase the denominator we simply have to multiply numerator and denominator by same number. If we want to find more rational numbers we have to keep on increasing the denominator. So easy way just multiplying by 10. So I get 30 upon 60 which is same as 1 by 2. And 40 upon 60. So if I have to write the rational numbers between say 5 rational numbers between 1 by 2 and 2 by 3. I can simply write 31 upon 60. 32 upon 60. 33 upon 60. 34 upon 60. 35 upon 60. This can continue till 39 upon 60. So here is a challenge for you. 
find 10 rational numbers between 3 by 7 and 1 by 5. One who posts the answers in the comment box first will be appreciated in the next one.